What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here, welcome back to Firewatch, we're moving on here, uh, in the last video we made an unfortunate discovery in the caves, we found the corpse of Brian Goodwin, uh, it's very unfortunate, I want to find out more about that, hopefully our questions will get answered in this video, let's take a look. Well there you go. We're actually packing everything up right now. Hey there, Delilah. I am sorry I got bad news. There's a kid and he fell down the cave. I'm sorry if that gave you the blues. Yes, it might. See that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the June fire or the site fire? Or... Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About how all this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's got to be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh. I wouldn't even know where to begin. It's beeping again. Well, fuck. Uh, for starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I mean, am I walking into a trap right now? I hope not. I would much rather remember you from a bar somewhere and not a jail cell. Please find who made that tape. I'm on it. This could be it. We could be finding out who the hell did all this. I'm very curious and anxious to see. the map I don't know which way to go I don't think it really matters at this point I think it's the same. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. Alright, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point in my lookout. There's a plane. God, I must be close. I'm so close. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? 
Got my name there's on it. tracking color tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. I'm scared. Read it. Or listen to it. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a... She's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just, he just... He just fucking didn't sink his ankle the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone D deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. I don't think he did. He to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Is that seriously all it is? I guess he's been dumping trash up here for a while. This must be... Was he living here? stuff. Brian was a nice looking kid. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, man. I don't know why he went through all this crap. So he, he probably jacked a bunch of stuff. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports. I found it. Ah, there's another one. The site. He wrote down everything. Staff return. Thing he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared. But shitless. So people thought that he would be arrested or something. I've already seen all these. I don't think I'll need any of that, but... You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. It's really dark and dingy down here. This boombox looks familiar. That's the girls. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a 
a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing. Fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. Why not? He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. I don't know how you could do this, man. I don't know how you could last so long, you know? He had quite the view. Sort of. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. So we just sat here and listened. Look at this. Every little bit. Jules. Julie and Julia. 2F is a good guy. D drunk again. He's listening to everything. What a vagina. Makes sense. I mean, it makes sense that it was him. I just thought there was bigger work out here. Stakes too high. No one believed B was happy. That's me, right? No, no, that's not me. What an idiot. That's his son, isn't it? But yeah, Brian Goodwin. So shit's getting nuts. We're gonna have to peace. He had books. Teens magazines, that's where he slept. Tons of stuff. So they probably they thought it was me when it was actually this dude. What's our current goal? Hike north. Apparently I can't go that way. No, put it away, put it away. Well, I got, I got what I wanted to see. I just want to see if I can go this way. Because I briefly checked it out, but... No, okay, we'll just go it the proper way. So the, he was the old. So, why was he at that station then? Why wouldn't he just live at the station? You know, like there's got to be something bigger at work there, dude. And we've never. We, I don't think we've even met Delilah. It's always been by radio, unless of course he has. And there's tons of stuff that we don't know about. You know. All right, let's see where are we. How do we get out of here? Evac point. Where are we now? All right, so there's a couple ways we can go. Um, honestly, they're both pretty long. I guess you know what? Just for a change of scenery, we'll go this way. But this is how we get out. I don't know, man. I just feel like there's something bigger at work here. I could be very wrong, and it could be just as simple as Ned. You know, just a worried about his son and how he would have been perceived and everything, but... I, I know, know I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Yep. No, I agree there. I think... I think that Ned loved him. He still had his photo, you know? I don't want to hear it. He, he obviously didn't want to forget him. He just didn't know what to do. Henry, not knowing what to do isn't okay. When you're supposed to look after someone, you... She's right, you though. figure it out. Yes. And Ned Goodwin is a shithead who is incapable of figuring anything out. I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. It would have saved his I life. Can't stop thinking about it. But it's not her fault. It isn't her fault. You didn't do anything wrong. You said it yourself. It was Ned's job to look after it. Yes, I did. 
And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. Happy. Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Her chopper's there. Yeah, hold on. Can you wait for me? I'm hey. up. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Uh, D. What if they don't come back for me? They'll come back. That's their job. Just what if we missed something about... Uh, something. I don't know. Henry, you're tired. There's nothing big going on. They'll come back for you. Just... wait. I'm gonna go. Damn it, Delilah! Okay. If you have to. I have to. Hike safe. I'm worried about this now. What if there was something bigger at work? Maybe... Maybe Delilah is the evil. No one ever considered that. One last hike. You know? Just keep following it, I guess. Wait, which way? This way? Is this right? Yep. I don't think I've ever been up this far, actually. And it's so smoky and, like, the fire is really taking everything apart. I'm assuming we just kind of follow the power lines. That's my guess. I don't know why she would leave, man. If she really cared about Henry, she would have waited. I would have fucking waited. Well, this is where I found Turt Reynolds. Oh, what about Turt Reynolds? I didn't bring him with me. Aw. I don't know. Maybe he'll get out. Wait, am I going the wrong way? Whoops. Yeah. Too far. Yeah, this is where I found Turt Reynolds. Everything looks super different just because of where we are. I'm actually really anxious that they are going to leave. But I don't know. We're going to wrap this puppy up in a few minutes here, guys. Just going to make sure I'm on the right track. Yep, so I can take a left if I want. Or I can just stick to the trail. I, oh, wait, no, this is, this is, the, tr this is the shortcut. think no wait a minute it's pretty damn easy to get lost this is where the girls went up this is where the girls cut the uh, the sim the signal right let's just take a look how we doing yeah, we did end up going the long way. That's okay. Just keep going. Looks like blood, but it isn't. And it sucks because this hike is super long. You're just like, what are they going to do? No. And then we got to take a right to the fork. And then we're going to find out information. I've never been here. I never went this way, ever. This is the first time going here. There's never been a reason to. What if I did go over here? What do you think would have happened?
Wait a minute, no, I be I got the supplies. Check this out. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah? She fucking left, dude. Be careful. This thing doesn't... He's a heavier chap, isn't he? I'm actually exceptionally nervous that we've been ditched. Come on, D. Where are we now? Lila. What am I going to find, man? They're not here. I wonder if I can find the drawing that she made of me. Yeah, it is. Ha. <laughs> what we know, white shorts, Bert and Turt. Hi, I'm Turt. Oh, that's so cute. Radio headset. Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red? Colorado plates? Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Well, yeah. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Damn it! Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. To figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you? <laughs> Alright, sure. Um, maybe. Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um, just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Yeah, sure. Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could, um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... Uh, I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. 
Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. That's so funny. She stole it. You too. Good luck. No. Henry, you keep it for yourself, okay? Bye, Hank. Let's go get the fuck out of here, boys. And girls. I think we spent enough time on this mountain. Coming! Don't leave! Let me run, damn it! For dramatic exit. Firewatch. So that is as they say that, ladies and gentlemen. We have finished this bad boy, Firewatch. It was truly a great story. I'm surprised there wasn't something deeper going on. I kind of wish there was, you know, a, a big, a big twist or something like that. But it turned out just to be innocent and a misunderstanding. I mean, I'm glad everyone made it out okay. You know, we built a relationship and... But in the end, I think it's important to stick to your guns, your wife, you know what I mean? Even if she doesn't know who the fuck you are, you made a promise and you stick by her. I can guarantee you I would do the same thing. Um, I, at the same time, though, I feel like if that person loves you enough, they would, uh, you know. Oh, look, it's, uh, it's all my pictures. Bro, it's my pictures. That's insane. Uh, that's crazy. I didn't even think about that. I got totally derailed by all these pictures. I was taking them for evidence. I should have taken a lot more like sightseeing pictures. I took a couple. See, there's that view. I'm like, yeah, that view though takes you back. All the memories. <laughs> Those damn teens. I just want to see it right through. Oh, that view, though, is unbelievable, man. Ah. Oh, that's the one that flashed at him when he first picked it up. Is that a finger in front of the... Are these old? Yeah, these are the what's left on the roll. Look. That's so cool. There's his dad. There's Ned. That's a good picture. <laughs> Brian taking selfie. Oh, that's nice too. Kind of sad, man. It is very sad. But it's meant to be just a pretty pretty little story, I guess, trying to keep you on your toes. But in the end, it's all all over pretty solid. Let's see if there's anything else left to be said. Nope. It's all she wrote. And look, you can select photos. That's a new thing. It's a new thing. We can check out the photos we took. Your photos. Upload your fo photos to Firewatch, camera to view, and share. That's cool. All right. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very, very much for watching my Let's Play of Firewatch. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Favorite the video as well. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to follow me on my social media. I'm very active on there. Those are down below in the description with a few other goodies. If you want to go ahead and get yourself a Dan Q8000 t-shirt, there's a link in the description for that as well. So thank you one more time, ladies and gentlemen. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy. Have a fantastic day. We'll be seeing you guys for plenty more gameplay in the future. Lots of great games coming out. So I hope you guys stay tuned and join me the next time as well. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Let's hand it over to Knox. Take it away, brother. Who the man with the plan? Hmm. If 
if you feel trouble while and wild on these violent and hit you eight thousand wait a minute hold that style style dan goddamn billy jack we still riding tires flat i hear them sirens see shots flying so we driving fire back if they ain't vibing lie with that got me dressed up in all black what up hood up and i see them haters try to run with us they don't need inhalers gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players grab your respirators night invaders get life savored mass on for the shooters move like trash to bed intruder got that glock and got them woofers just press play i'll keep it moving who is knock till you damn fools keep it fresh like canned food there ain't nothing we can't do so tune into that damn kill yeah it was never ever a game